everyone greetings of peace and joy to anyone who will watch this video or a tutorial about frequency distribution table at this moment i'm going to share to you how to compute a frequency distribution table and by the way frequency distribution table is a condensed version of an array it categorizes the numerical data into intervals or classes. It has the following parts, which are, are classes. Classes are mutually exclusive categories defining the lower limit and the upper limit with equal intervals. N next is a class frequency. Class frequency is the number of observations in each class. Next is the class mark or class midpoint. It is used in computing the mean and some measures of variability. Next is the cumulative frequency. So cumulative frequency tells the sum of frequencies in a particular class of interest. Next is the relative frequency tells the percentage of observations in a particular class of interest now here is the example about solving frequency distribution table example is 50 student row score in 100 item test find the frequency mark intervals class boundary relative frequency relative frequency percentage less cumulative frequency and more than cumulative frequency so here are the number of the student and the scores in the item 100 since it was the class was given we're just only find the frequency the mark interval class boundary relative frequency relative frequency percentage less cumulative frequency and more than cumulative frequency so how to find the frequency so first is i'm going to show you how to find the frequency so frequency so frequency is equal to the number of the score from lower and upper limit of each class example here is from c51 to 60 and 61 to 70, 71 to 80, 81 to 90, 91 to 100. So there are five class or category see in the class. So let's count the score from 51 to 60. Let's start. Sixty one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So there are twelve scores between fifty one to sixty. So we are going to write here. So that is now the frequency of the first class or first category this seems through the next class we are going to count the score between 61 to 70 if you want to do it by yourself you can post first the video and try to find the less frequency so here is now the number of each frequency so let's count if the frequency will be equal to the number of the student so 50 12 plus 11 is equals 23 plus 9, 32 plus 7 is 39. So plus 11 is equal to 50. So the total number of the frequency will be equal to the number of the student. So next is to find the mark interval. Mark interval is the middle number between lower and upper limit in each classes example class number one or first category it has first the category is 51 to 60 so we are going to find the middle number of this class so how to find is to find the median for this 
So 51 to 60. Let's just count 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. So the total number all this one is equal to 10. Now we are going to find the middle number at these 10 numbers. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this two number is the middle number of these 10 numbers. How to find the median number is to add the two numbers divided by the numbers we added. So 55 plus 56 is equal to 111. So now we are going to divide by 2. Why 2? is because the numbers of the number we added. So 1 and 2. So 2 numbers. So, it's, so, that one. so it has 55, 55.5 or... Or, we are going to round up, it will be 56. Now, the mark interval of the first category is 56. So, you are going to write here, 56. If you want to try it by yourself, you can pause the video and tap to play it again to check your answer. So, let's continue. So, the second category, the mark interval will be 66. 76, 86, and 96. So next is the class boundary. How to get the class boundary? So class boundary is the lower limit and the upper limit of each class. Let's go to class boundary. Class boundary is the lower limit and the upper limit of the class. So how to get the lower limit and the upper limit? To get the lower limit of its class is the median number between the upper and the lower number in its class. Let us start from the bottom. It be like this. So this one will be The upper limit for the first interval is 60.5. And we are going to, so to get the lower limit is we are going to subtract also the 0 0.5. In, and 51 will be 50.5. So this one will be. 61 will be 60.5, 70 will become 70.5. The same as true with this. Just copy, just copy this one. You put it here and just add 0 0.5. Just copy the 90.5 and just add 0. 50 here so relative frequency how to get the re relative frequency relative frequency is equal to the number of frequency in each class divided by by the total number of the frequency so relative it should be this one the relative frequency Rel relative frequency is equal to the number frequency in each class. So let's find the relative frequency for the first class, which is 12 divided by the total number of the frequency, which is 50, is equal to 0 0.24. Want to solve it by yourself the next? Relative frequency, you can pause the video and tap to play later to check your answer. So, the first relative frequency is 0 0.24. So, 
So, 11 divided by 50 is equal to 0 0.22. 9 divided by 50 is equal to 0 0.18. So, 7 divided by 50 is equal to 0 0.14. So, 11 divided by 50 is equal to 0 0.22. So, the total for the re relative frequency will equal to 1. So, let's go to relative frequency percentage. How to get relative frequency percentage is equal to relative frequency times 100 and that will be your answer. So, 0 0.22, like this, relative frequency percentage is equal to relative frequency. The first frequency is 0 0.24 times 100 is equal to 24. So, we are going to write here 24. Next is 0 0.22 times 100 is equal to 22. 0 0.18 times 100 is equal to 18. So 0 0.14 times 100 is equal to 14. 0 0.22 times 100 is equal to 22. So overall, the relative frequency percentage will be equal to 100. So next is how to get the, le the less cumulative frequency so less cumulative frequency is you are going to use the additional operation here first is you are going to copy the first frequency and that will be our first cumulative frequency in the first class so this one will be 12 next is first just copy the first frequency for the first cumulative frequency and then the second add the first cumulative frequency from the second frequency and it will be your second cumulative frequency the same as true for the last number so 12 plus 11 is equal to 23 23 plus 9 is equal to 30 Two. So, 32 plus 7 is equal to 39. 39 plus 11 is equal to 50. So, the last number in less cumulative frequency will be equal to the total number of the frequency. Next is the more than cumulative frequency. How to get the more than cumulative frequency? is to uh, just copy the num the total number of the frequency for the first more than cumulative frequency in category to find the more than cumulative frequency is we are going to use the subtraction here the subtraction operation while the less cumulative frequency is the additional so next is so 50 minus the first frequency here will be equal to 38. So 38 minus 11 is equal to 27. So 27 minus 9 is equal to 18. So 18 minus 7 is equal to 11. And the last number in more than cumulative frequency will be equal to the last number of the frequency in category. So that's all how to compute the frequency distribution table. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.